report of the Transport, National Transportation Safety Board of the U.S. government. This is their accident report uh, about that spill uh, that occurred on July 25, 2010. It's still not cleaned up in the Kalamazoo River. What we discovered from this particular incident was that bitumen mixed with diluent does not behave anything like crude. It will separate. Some of it will volatilize into the air, thus creating cancer-causing gases off the site of the spill. The bitumen itself will sink, or some of it will stick together and behave differently. This, by the way, is a classic report on exactly how many things can go wrong even though you claim to the public ahead of time that you have all the bells and whistles and nothing can go wrong. This spill, which started at 5.58 p.m. on July 25, 2010, was not a discovered or addressed for over 17 hours. Uh, the National Safety Board, Transportation Board, I won't go into the Kalamazoo spill too much except to say my favorite line from the U.S. government's press release on this was that Enbridge had a culture of negligence and behaved like the Keystone cops. 81% of the over 840,000 gallons of diluted bitumen that were pumped into the Kalamazoo River, 81% of the spill happened after alarm bells had gone off in the control room to tell them that the pipeline had broken. But the crew inside the Enbridge control room decided that this wasn't a real spill, that there was something wrong with the pressure testing in the pipe, and that they could disbelieve the alarms that were going off, one of which rang for five whole minutes. They behaved just the way you or I would if we had a piece of toast stuck in the toaster, and we knew our fire alarm was going off because of the smoke from the toaster. We would not evacuate our home. We would just keep unplugging the damn thing till it stopped beeping at us. Enbridge's spill showed us something. Bitumen mixed with diluent can't be cleaned up in fresh water. And nothing has changed that story since. Bitumen mixed with diluent is now known to be impossible to clean up in fresh water environments. We're crossing 700 bodies of water in BC that are fresh water. What about in the marine environment? Yeah.